guys. Uh, this is uh, Joe Tech PC Services. I'm actually going, doing an installation of um, a new Cisco RV325 router. Um, three Ubiquiti, um, what is it, uh, a long range AM access point, APLR access points. Um, in a 5,000 square foot home. Um, I'm just in the middle of doing a uh, Cat 45, uh, Cat uh, 5 uh, E connection here for the um, Ubiquiti power with Ethernet power supply, which is right here. It's powered on, ready to go. It's screwed down. Everything's screwed down. This is screwed down. Um, this is a 14 port uh, gigabit switch, uh, two WAN ports, and uh, works really well. We'll be back. I've been going crazy ripping up the wood so I can run the, the third access point in here. To go up and down, up and down these stairs. It's that is awesome. Oh my god. Oh. Um, but yeah, I, there's a tube that runs from the attic to the basement. Uh, I guess the architect or whoever built this knew that they were going to be running stuff from the basement up to the attic. And I'm using, I cut one of the tubes, I'll show you, now that I'm catching my breath. So there's the tube, I cut it, here's the other one, another one that goes all the way up top, see it? And uh, they go straight down to the basement. So I'm just going to unravel some of this. Because I still need to have going downstairs. I got, it got caught somehow. So I need to bring this downstairs. Um. Oh god, I'm so exhausted. This attic is nice. I actually could walk in it. It's absolutely tremendous. Uh, one of the best places to actually do work here <laughs> because I can actually stand in it. It's very hot. I'm like, you can probably see my on my face. I'm like, like sweating. I've been drinking water like it's out of, going out of style. My arms are sweaty. Actually, you can see the water on my arms. But uh, I had to pick up all the pieces of wood. There's still some on the floor still here, but they're actually loose. And I just have to peel them up and then run the cabling because um, I'm going to do the cabling for we do the PoE and the uh, injector first downstairs and you'll see that in a second alright so you can actually see th this is the pipe that I was telling you before and we're pulling down wire and uh, we're going to run it down here there's already a code line here there's hot line here, but I'm going to run it through the cold line. It eliminates me drilling again, which I really don't want to do. Um, the least amount of drilling in these beams, you're better off because it, it makes them less strong. Not that it would matter a little hole in the uh, in the beam in these in these uh, in these pieces of wood. I just don't want to add another one, so I'm going to follow the blue over here and then I'm going to drill a hole. He, actually no, I'm not going to drill a hole. I'm going to actually follow the cement where all the other Cat 5s are. Follow it down the wall over there and then behind this come out over here and go on top of this beam, pop out here and then uh, find another hole or drill a hole. Actually no, then I'm going to probably go horizontally I think there's a there's one ubiquity I installed already that's live and functioning. Um, they, if you notice, there's no it's uninsulated, but they're gonna 
they're going to finish this basement and then they're going to I have excess cabling right in there so if they needed to move it to a different location they have plenty of slack and they can move it on the opposite side of this uh, intake for the air conditioner and uh, move it anywhere they like so and then over here is where the meat and potatoes are this is a very big house they have uh, it's unrelated to this video but they have 150 amp here and 150 amp here so 300 amp service then we have the Cisco router here the RV uh, 325 here's the power over Ethernet injector for the ubiquity uh, I, these are all custom cables so I just made a, a small one that goes right to the switch um, this one is for the basement I have to still add another one here for the one in the uh, on the uh, second floor we're in the basement so we have one on the first floor we have one in the basement which you saw over here we have three total three of these ubiquity uh, APLRs and uh, then there's one in the upstairs room but I didn't have to the the injector is gonna be there uh, actually you know what I may actually put the injector here leave all the power here because this it's the media closet and that's where that's where it is so I'm gonna probably put the ubiquity uh, injector here and run it through this instead um, it eliminate probably a lot of stuff um, it'll be easier that way so I'm just gonna you know pull this through because I, I need to have what you want when, when you run cabling you want to make sure that you have enough you know cable on on the other side so in other words the box is still up in the attic which you saw let's see so that's good I mean I have quite a bit of cabling here but it's got to reach all the way over there which is the important thing so I got to continue running this over here move the ladder and finish it up you know what maybe I'll uh, I'll do it I mean holding the camera it would be a pain in the neck but at least you get to kind of see what I'm doing This is funny. All right. So essentially, I'm just going to push it through. It's difficult to hold the camera and do the work at the same time. Let's see. I'm trying to do it. There we go. We got it. And we want to get these kinks out. Because when you pull it through a hole, it generates a kink. And since these are solid core, you don't want to kink the wire. It's bad news. You see that? Let's pull that down. There we go. Perfect. And I should have enough slack. Now let's let's give it a shot. Let's just pull this over here manually. See if I have enough. I'm just gonna yank it across the floor. Just to see if I have enough slack, which it appears I do, because I'm almost over to the wall. And I still have a ton there, so I'm good with the length of wire. So I don't have to grab anymore. And I don't care if this extra Cat5 cable is cheap. Cat5e cable is cheap. So, a home run. Big basement, huh?
this is gonna be an awesome uh, playroom when it's done or a media room or a man cave whatever he decides to do with it down here oh let me show you this the reason why we needed a hot spot down here that ubiquity was because of this room this is a gym in this guy's house and he needed to have internet access in this room so it's, it was imperative that he had good connectivity for the smart TV so that's the reason why and this room is solid it's all, all cement so believe it or not when I'm inside of this room I get like 30 megabits down so that's the reason why there's an access point downstairs so the uh, homeowner wanted internet access full speed internet access and in every floor of the house so that's one there's one up in the first floor and then we're and uh, this wire that i'm running now is the one for the upstairs and i'll show you that in a moment all right so i was able to run the cabling through I had to take a different path uh which worked out well because there's already a hole there and i'm just following this there's already um which we're calling networking here in the house pre-existing so i'm just following the same path it makes it much easier so i'm just going to follow this down and uh set up the other power over ethernet injector down there next to the other one and uh, we'll be good to go anyway we're going to do uh, type b connectivity and uh, oh, look at that i'm bleeding um i'm sorry orange stripe orange green stripe whoop. green stripe blue Blue stripe green. And then brown stripe brown. I know this by heart because I've been doing them like 8 trillion of them at a time. Oop. Make sure this gets in there. Brown stripe. Brown. You gotta have a really tight finger here and you on your pointer finger. Make sure all these babies are nice and tight right here. Like it's cri critical. So and then make sure they're all brown stripe brown. Make sure they're all perfect. Then you cut them straight. Gone. Then you have a perfect cut here. Brown. And the connector is on the bottom. Slide it in push the insulation should be inside the connector that is key because there's a plastic piece that you crush and it'll crush into the insulation and the cabling and the wiring so it looks good take my crimper done so we got one side now I gotta do the other side. I'm not gonna bore you with that one. But I'm making a custom, like a little two and a half foot jumper that goes from the POA, POE injector, which is here, the LAN, like this, and into this, and then into the network switch. Um, I already made a custom one here for this one. So I added the, the second PoE switch, uh, power injector. I just put it right next to it. This is the one that's downstairs in the basement. This one is upstairs in the attic. Um, I like having independent injectors instead of one whole power supply because then you put all your eggs in one basket. If that thing goes, then you lose everything versus just replacing one. Um, these are 24-volt power of your Ethernet injectors that come with the Ubiquity 3-pack kit comes with a single pack as well but um and that's that um the homeowner the original homeowner actually ran uh network cables throughout the house so these are all pre-existing and he want to laugh this is what he had where is that you won't believe it here it is <laughs> this is what the guy had in his in the house here Ethernet hub, 10 megabits, EN108, so it's 10 megabits, 10 base T hub, 
Now watch this, guys. You're gonna love this. Ready? Watch this. I'm gonna spin it around. Look what this. What, look what these connectors have. This is back in the day when BNC was the shizzle. A right, ten base T. <laughs> and remember, you used to have the uh, the AUI port. It would convert it. Uh, you would have to f plug in a converter on this and then plug in your network. I remember those days. It was a long time ago. And uh, Ethan, uh, network networking has uh, has evolved great greatly. So anyway, that's what he had in the house. It worked, but it was only 10 megabits. I guess back in the day, he only had DSL here or whatever at one point, and he didn't need or it wasn't available anything faster. So anyway, let me finish this connectivity because I still got to do the the uh the other the other side to this that goes to uh this port here and i still got to do upstairs in the attic and finally mount the ubiquity uh access point up there too all right so now we're running the cat 5 from the basement up and through the holes pre-existing holes i don't want to drill anything else in here we'll go in a corner over there get it on that side bring it through and then we're going in between these two hi-hats. There's actually one over here and one here. We're going right literally in front of the AC intake. We're going to remove the uh, insulation and pop it right there. So this is where the installation of the access point will go. Right between these two lights. Go back up. I mean, if you, only if you guys knew how hot this was up here. Holy, holy Toledo. All right. So what's really nice about the Ubiquity, it has a, a template, which is really nice. So what would happen is, is that I would, I'm going to drill these holes and I'm going to drill this hole that that'll be for the cat five cable. And then you have, um, threaded screws that go into this. Let's just move this over a little bit more. I want it pretty much in line with, doesn't really matter which way you put it in, but you know, some people are picky. They have OCD. <laughs> Such as myself. So we're going to screw this um, down right here. And unfortunately, I can't record and do the work. So stand by.